Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex and the eight year anniversary pre registration event and login calendar is officially live with two days into it now, but you have plenty of time to get set up for the eight year anniversary. Hopefully it's going to be a banger. Keep in mind that with these anniversaries, all of the big time major events like the 50% off all uniforms discount and the bingo event, all of those will happen at the end of this pre register like at the end of this pre event and this this like setup sort of build up so we're building up now all throughout april to the big eight year anniversary at the end of april when all of that stuff and all of those events will go live so without further ado let's check out what we're getting here for the eight year anniversary we are getting 800 crystals uh for pre-registering plus a tier two character selector plus five million gold so all you need to do to register and i'm on the forums right now in case you guys are wondering you go to this pre-registration page, which opens up to www.marvelfuturefight.com. Um, if you actually go to that website instead of going to this one, you'll see something on, along the lines of this. Actually, never mind. It just it just default loads to the eight-year anniversary, which is really cool. You have this nice little graphic here. You scroll down, or you click pre-register now, and it scrolls for you. And then you just choose what your um, you know which which uh, platform you're on, Google or or Apple, and then you just uh, you just type in your email address. That's all you got to do. Type in your email address. Make sure there are no spaces in your email address because that may cause it to error. Um, and then just say that you agree, and then just click pre-register. Boom, you're done. And then you'll be getting the 800 crystals and the tier two selector and the five million gold. Personally, I'm skeptical that they're actually tracking all of the people's email addresses. Also, people will ask questions like, well, which email address should I provide? Well, you should provide the email address that is linked to your MFF account, right? Like there has to be, there should be some connection there. However, the cynic, the cynic in me uh, thinks that they're going to give this reward out to everyone, regardless of whether or not you pre-register. So if you're, if you're particularly concerned about security and your email address and you don't want like spam emails, advertisements and things like that, you could probably forego the pre-registration. Like I said, I don't know how they're going to actually go one by one and track every single email. I think that's just a massive waste of time and, and this is just like a marketing thing. Um, but that's that's really up to you to make that decision. Now, as far as the eight year uh, pre anniversary login called the homecoming party, it's pretty spicy this year. I've seen some people complaining about it, but I don't really understand the complaints. So we'll go through and talk about it. So we're actually on D20 right now, and you'll find these rewards in your gift tab. And you'll actually, if you go over to the notice, they tell you, well, you go over the notice and you can see it there. Some of them get added to your gift tab right away. Some of them you have to collect from here. So here I'm going to acquire the 300 black antimatter. But if you go over to the gift tab, you will see, sorry, I just bought a Stark stash. Uh, you, if you go over to the gift tab, you'll see that I have, oh, maybe I already used it. Nope, I still have it there. I have the gift tab uh, selectors from the first day. So just make sure you check the notice tab and the gift tab in order to find these rewards because it may be in one or the other, right? So we've got we've got the D21 down and the D20 down, and then we're just going on from there. We're getting a mega tier two ticket uh, in about a week. We're getting some Celestial Essence, which should be like 3,000, but whatever. A four-star, random four-star artifact, which is nice. We're getting 300 crystals, an Odin's Blessing chest, and then another 600 crystals. So that's really nice. We're getting 900 crystals from this, and that is without counting the 800 crystals that we're getting from there. So 1,700 crystals over the next month just for logging in every day, which is really, really nice. Uh, and that's just logging in from today until the end of April. And then, of course, on the 25th, we have the Tier 3 Selector. Now, a few questions here before we get into the Tier 3 Selector. Some people have wondered, hey, Alex, do you need to log in every single day in order to get the Tier 3 Selector? Is it going to track how many days you've logged in? No. However, as you can see here, each one of these rewards has a time limit on it. So you cannot log in on the last day and collect everything that you missed up until that point. These will expire basically 24 hours, it looks like, or 36 hours after um, they were like originally released. So if you want to collect all of these, you do need to log in every single day. Otherwise, you will miss it. So at the very least, I recommend that you log in on the 10th of April. Um, and on the 17th of April and on the, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. 
again, just log in every day. It's really not that hard, but apparently for some people on the internet, it is really hard to log in every day. So I just wanted to make that clear uh, and sort of explain that to you. But yeah, I think these rewards are really awesome. I really like the, uh, the extra crystals, especially. Some people are complaining because last year we got two mega tier two tickets. A mega tier two ticket is nice, especially for low spending players who have a lot of uh, premium tier one characters that they want to take to tier two so that they can then begin the process to tier three or transcend without using bios. But I think the crystals are more valuable, in my opinion. I think the crystals are more valuable just straight up. I know it's not a lot more crystals than last year, but I just think the crystals are more valuable, especially with the fact that you can get the mega tier twos every month with tokens. So yeah, you can't really trade tokens for crystals, which makes them, in my opinion, a more prior, a higher priority uh, reward. They could have given us both, absolutely you can you can definitely make that argument you know they could have given us a mega tier two here um and they could have given us a mega tier two here and then just put the black antimatter with the cast thorn stones if i had to be critical of this login calendar are some of the rewards lame yeah some of the rewards are lame like 2 million gold should be 8 million gold right um 300 feathers 300 mcron that should be 800 right some of these rewards definitely should be bumped up but uh, i am happy to see the crystals and things like that now, as far as the tier three selectors go, I will have a, a video in a, about a week or two where I go over the best picks and I rank all of the characters for the tier three selector. But keep in mind, this tier three selector has been updated since last year. They've added extra characters, which is really good. And you can see the characters down here. Um, they've added, I think, Shang-Chi. Uh, I think, what is it? Shang-Chi, Hela, and maybe one other character. They, they, they haven't added that many. Uh, but they have added a couple there so we now have a lot of options to to choose from and especially with the reworks that a lot of these characters have gotten recently with their tier fours you know cap spider-man um iron man uh, ant-man you know storm there's a lot here thor right there's a lot of characters there that uh, have gotten reworks uh, and including tier four and so you can upgrade some of these characters uh with that in mind for the future uh, so I think there are a lot of really good options now. So we'll talk about that in a later video. But yeah, I just wanted to bring this to your attention, guys. We're going to have even more uh, eight-year events happening in the game in the coming weeks. So like I've always said, now is the best time to just start logging in. You don't even have to really play the game if you don't want to or if you don't have the passion or desire to or the motivation. You know, you should only be playing these games in general if you're having fun. I've always... well. For the last few years, at least, I've been a big proponent of that, and Marvel Future Fight is no different, even though I have a channel, even though it's, it's my business. Um, you know, I totally understand players who don't want to play because it's just not fun for them. But even if you don't play, uh, logging in makes a whole lot of sense right now for all of these juicy rewards leading up to the big day. Uh, and then for those of you that are wondering where the other rewards are, because oftentimes we remember like the biggest, most hype moments. Uh, this is all leading up to the anniversary. Then we're going to have the anniversary with the events, with the, you know, the, the bingo, etc. Then they're going to drop another, like they usually drop another seven day login. And that usually has a transcended selector in it. Last year, we also got a premium card chest with a random premium card in it. So there's still a whole lot more uh, to, to, to dive into. So don't think that this is all we're getting. And yeah, I'd be, I'd be giga shocked if this is all we're getting. They've never done it that way before. So yeah um we'll have to wait and see how things uh shake out but uh yeah it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good right now uh, it, ultimately for me the anniversary hinges on um the, the you know the next update and and what sort of reworks and what sort of changes they make to the game uh not so much the rewards the rewards are definitely nice to bring players back but the only thing that's going to keep players interested at this point is going to be, you know, a massive rework to Shadowland, a massive rework to Alliance Conquest or Timeline Battle or GBR, something like that, right? Some sort of, or some massively new game mode that's super fun, right? And has good rewards. I can't tell the future. I don't know what's going to happen, but I definitely think that um, this is the way to get people in the door, right? The rewards is the way to get people in the door, but it's the game modes that are going to keep people in the building, right? And not just checking in and then checking out because you don't, Checking in and checking out isn't really going to help you long term to keep the game active and to keep the revenue up and to keep the ball rolling. So, yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the eight year anniversary calendar and pre-registration. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.